It is a pleasure to see all of you here to welcome Penny Hardaway as our new basketball coach. What is your why? I knew that the city needed the boost. I knew that the, the school needed a boost. It's no disrespect to anyone else. I felt like my presence could bring that, and that's why I really wanted to take on this task. And um, being the head coach of the University of Memphis is a big deal for a lot of people, and I'm not surprised because I understand how big Tiger basketball is in the city. Was there a point in your life, either during your career or post-career, that you are like, I might be a coach someday? I never thought that. Actually, I've always felt like I was a coach on the floor, being a point guard, you're an extension of the head coach. And I felt like if I wanted to coach, I would, but I never was, when I was playing basketball, saying, you know what, one day I'm gonna be a head coach. How have you been able to manage expectations for people so far? Their expectations are a lot lower. Like, hey man, don't rush it. Um, don't worry about making the NCAA this year. Uh, they got you ranked, picked eighth. You know, don't let that bother you. Things like that, of that nature. But me, I'm such a competitor. My expectations are really, really high. Penny on a drive. He jumps, shoots the three-pointer. It's good! Hardaway. Over Ewing! How have you been able to relate to kids now? Man, coaching AAU, coaching high school and coaching middle school, the connection is there. You know how to connect with the kids, listening to all the, the hip hop music that they've listened to and the new artists and learning their language and being on social media, you just, just an everyday thing. They weren't even born, most of these kids, when I was in my prime. So they go on YouTube just to see, let me see if this guy's as good as they say he was or whatever. And they come back to me and go, coach, <laughs> you good. And I'm like, well, thanks, man, I appreciate it. <laughs> there was never a doubt that you were gonna come back to Memphis post-career though? No, there wasn't a doubt. I never felt like I was gonna reside anywhere else. I felt like I was gonna come back home and see what was going on in the city, see where I was needed. Got so much pride being from the city because the city is, it's tough. It's a hard-nosed city. You get tested daily and everybody's always fighting and scrapping to be better than they were the day before. And to be able to come back home and, and get back in the community and, and get into the neighborhoods and, and have these young guys dream through me to be, able to, to be able to get out. That's the ultimate goal, to be able to get to college and to be able to get out. And then for them, when they leave, and do what they were supposed to do to come back and pull somebody else up. And uh, it's, it's been a great feeling, but yeah, man, I'm so, I'm so proud uh, to be from Memphis because it's, it's taught me so much.